when I relate to people, it could be a little bit hard because when you look at them and you kind of also go platonic, you kind of drop your mood down. It's like you are trying to live within the vibrations of all the reality around and you try to focus on a certain thought that you want to communicate to the other individual but then you realize that sometimes you gotta relax because you overload on certain perceptions of all the things that you're trying to spit out maybe maybe all the emotional neutrality coming out of your mouth and it makes it so complex because every single time you want to try to make another better rhyme it's it's so difficult for you to imagine and every single time you kind of want to pause for another bad insecurity in your mind so it seems like you you are living within all the perfection but you constantly probably want also perfection and it makes it so confusing if you understand the inception of all the things it was a little bit hard from the childhood moment you know when I was a kid I was kind of scared because I had a nanny that tried to pull me out in the cold and I was freezing through you know the lower bottom side and I just want to say another thing before even that time I was two months old two kids took me down to the basement and they turned on a flashlight and they showed it in front of the face and I got really scared so I probably lived in disgrace of every single notion of every single thought you know it's not something that exactly wanted to choose it's something that I had to realize because maybe that kind of harmed me in some kind of way but I don't want to believe in the bad sense of anything because all those bad thoughts are gonna change you around they're not gonna give you the chance to do anything right and you're gonna try to be in a lot of pain that's right so I want to say something about all the history my mom lived with six stepdads that were narcissistic some kind of abuse made my gums bleed and stuff like that and they were kind of weird because when I was sleeping in my bed at night you know one of them was cutting with a knife kind of carrots at night it was kind of mentally weird to me because I didn't really understand the perspective that he wanted to bring and I was kind of a shrink and he made me as a filter so every single time we sat and talked he would use me he would say to another lady over there who was a servant he would say hey boy girl this boy likes you come up over there and and the girl came up and she was kind of you know trying to show affection to me as if it was all my idea but it was actually his so my stepdad kind of you know used that as a way to get girls instead through me because my cuteness was kind of out of place so I started to get shy probably another form of disgrace and a lot of people like to touch me in weird ways yeah